What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Daniel Hung and I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, at least to me. Um, I don't know. I honestly thought that having my own place would be the key to making more videos. But there's so much more factors that go into making videos that... Mm, Sometimes it demotivates you, and sometimes it motivates you. So we just gotta keep on going. Today's video is gonna be another tutorial, and another affinity photo tutorial to be exact. I'm gonna be showing you two easy ways to eliminate the background of any photo that you choose. Without further ado, let's just get right into the video, shall we? Alright guys, now that we are back here on the iPad. Let me show you how to remove the background in any photo. So we're gonna open up Affinity Photo now. And bear in mind you can do this with Photoshop as well. Although Photoshop, I think there's an even easier way that uses artificial intelligence, but yeah, hopefully Affinity adds that in later releases. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go add documents and I'm gonna import a photo that I prepared specially for this tutorial. All right, so now we've got our photo. The first way to remove the background of the image is by going to the Selections Persona, going to Smart Selection Brush Tool, and basically adjust your width of your brush, right? I, I usually like to do a rough, like, Pass, so I use a larger brush make sure your mode is on add and I just go wild right now that you have a rough draft you can reduce the size of your brush and start going in and seeing how it goes so like for example here go to subtract mode and just kind of fix it up a bit so you're basically switching between subtract and add as you subtract and add stuff to your selection. So you see right here, the ear kind of got cut off. I'm just gonna add that back in, All right? Don't worry about the hair, we're gonna fix that soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is a piece of cut off. Right, subtract that, very good. As you can see, right here in the shirt area. Make sure to get all of that. Shirt. Okay, good. All right, right here, we're missing something there too. Okay, so right here. So with a very high quality photo like this, it's very easy to detect uh, the edges. And so as soon as you're done with that, we go here to the refine selection tool. As you can see here, everything that is in red, all right, is what we didn't select. And everything in white is what we did select. And so we're going to select our output to mask and bam. So we can accept was remove the background entirely. And now, what you can do now is, you know, go back to the photo persona, and we're just gonna pick the rectangle tool, draw the little rectangle, all right? I'm gonna drag it below. As you can see, we now pretty much have a nice little background here. Now I can change the color of this rectangle to anything I want, you know, and it's pretty easy. All right. Another way to select and remove your background is by using the pen tool. So in the same photo persona, if I tap the pen tool over here, what the pen tool basically does is you Instead of selecting, you just draw it out, right? So for example, I can just tap here, right? 
could see that. Tap here, tap there, tap there. You guys continue tapping, right? All around your subject. Oops. I'm not doing it very neat because, as you can see, if you could see, uh, I am in a extremely weird position in order to make this tutorial. And I'm not the best in the pen tool. I, I really need to work on that. But for the most part, all you need to do is go around I'm going really quick here. <laughs> Pen's going all over the place. When you're done, you can just go and connect. And once it's all connected, and you got yourself something that looks like this, you can easily go to mask or to selection. So what I would do is I'd put it to selection and now you got something similar to what you had in using the first method. Now I would go to the selection persona and I would tap the refine tool and we're back almost to where we started. All right, you check to see, oops, check to see if there's anything that needs work, especially the hair section. So I just increase the size, just brush over while in refine mode. And Affinity will fix, for the most part, the areas, especially the hair, which is usually very hard to, to, to do, right? Okay. So after that, to mask, and we're back at the same place. And now I can just go back to Photo Persona, put my little background, change the color to probably a black put it underneath and now I got you, you got yourself a nice little basic selection and stuff like that all right guys that's all I have for you today I hope it was very helpful and don't forget to subscribe like share and let me know down in the comments the ways you do to select maybe there's a way that I don't know so Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.